Hello, in this video I want to answer the most common question I get under my videos about the Skywatcher Star Adventure Star Tracker here on YouTube. And the question is whether the main clutch on the main unit, this black ring right here, whether it should be tightened or loose for the actual tracking. Because like I was explaining in a couple of my previous videos, you need to loosen the clutch in order to position this mounting platform the way you want, especially for deep sky astrophotography if you use one of these uh, dovetails. You need to undo the clutch, position it accordingly to frame up your target, and then the question remains, should I tighten it for tracking or should I keep it loose? And let's get it out of the way, you should absolutely tighten the clutch if you want to start tracking. And if you want to stick around, I will actually explain to you why this clutch needs to be tightened and why is it impossible for you to reposition it while the clutch is tightened. And that's what causes so much confusion, I think, because people tighten the clutch, that way they cannot turn it and they ask the question, oh, if the clutch is tightened, how the motor inside the adventure will actually be able to turn it in order to track the movement of the sky, right? Because the motor needs to turn it, so if it's tightened and if you cannot turn it by your hand, how the motor is supposed to turn it? Well, that's the general idea of a clutch, because a clutch in the unit like this one works pretty much the similar way as a clutch in your car. If you have a manual transmission car, I don't know if you are familiar with those, if you live in the US, because I know that uh, automatic transmission is definitely more popular in the US, but basically a clutch is a pedal that if you press, then you disengage the entire gearbox from the main shaft, the, the main rotor of your engine in your car. And if you disengage it, then the rotor of the motor in your car can turn freely regardless of what your wheels are actually doing. So if you want to stop your car, you need to press the clutch, that way the engine can keep running and you can stop your car, the wheels will be static while the rotor inside the engine in your car will be still running. And the same principle applies here in this adventure because if you under the clutch if you loosen this main ring right here if I loosen this you basically disengage the motor that is inside here with this mounting platform so you can turn this which is independent from the position of the shaft that is actually rotating right here. There's a couple of gears right here that make this drive possible and the drive, the type of drive that is inside this unit is actually called a worm drive and it basically works like this. You have a very, very large cog that is pretty much the diameter of this entire uh, clutch ring right here. You have a cog of this size and then right here at the bottom you have this small, this is called an infinite screw. Basically it's a screw that is rotating and while this screw is rotating, it is turning this cog very, very slightly. And the ratio of the transmission right here is around, I don't know, maybe 20 to one or something like this. So this guy has to turn like 20 times for this main cog to complete one rotation. I don't know if it is 20 or even more, but in general with worm drives, the ratio is quite big. And that is why it is impossible why the clutch is tightened, because if you tighten the clutch, you're basically pressing with force the, this mounting platform to this cog that is being turned turned by the worm drive. So if you tighten this, that way if this cog is turning because it is driven by the motor, that way the mounting platform can also turn with it. So if the clutch is you know, undone, if the clutch is undone, then this cog can turn because of the motor, the running motor will, will cause this cog to be turning, but it will not translate into the rotational motion of this mounting platform at all. So you absolutely need to tighten it and the reason why you cannot move it by hand is because of the transmission ratio between this type of drive, which is which is fairly large. And that's basically how it all works internally. I will leave down below links to a Wikipedia page about the worm drives. And actually there's a video of a guy who disassembled his Skywatcher Star Adventure and he shows exactly what is inside here, how it all works, how the clutch works. So just remember that the clutch definitely needs to be tightened if you want to start tracking. And right now, if you want to check out my other videos about the Skywatcher Star our adventure you can click on one of these tabs right here also don't forget to subscribe right here for future videos new videos every single week don't forget to leave a like i would really appreciate that and see you next time clear skies bye bye